the vinyl starts to shrink back to its original state and then you can see like little morning guys so I'm gonna do some stuff today on this channel what that doesn't even make any sense <laughs> I just graduated college last week so Thank you. <laughs> a little late, but better late than never, right? So anyway, I'm gonna make some videos for you guys. I'm gonna make some content and I'll wave my finger to let you know the importance of this content <laughs> coming up. Uh, I'm not funny. Anyway, I'm gonna make some videos and today I'm gonna start out with a little bit of a vlog. I have a lot of stuff I have to do to my Forester and I just got kind of like a laundry list of maintenance and all kinds of the crap I gotta do. So first I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna bring you guys with me and then we're gonna start Working on a car today. Okay, let's go. Dude, this is crazy. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and it's already balls hot outside. Ooh, there's a rabbit drinking from the sprinkler. <laughs> hey, I got my Starbucks. <laughs> They're watching me record myself. God, YouTubing is so awkward. So you guys are probably wondering like, what's my deal? What? It, who is this chick and why is she on YouTube? I was a mechanic in the Air Force, so I have a mechanical background. I've always loved cars. And the one thing I'm sure you guys can attest to this, no matter how crappy your life may be at times, if you have a love for cars, it just, it seems like there's something to look forward to. I haven't really talked about my own car that much. Which is weird. So I, I did film a car review of my Forester a while back. And I never edited it. I should probably just make a new one. I probably will do that. But anyway, I'm gonna rewrap my grill in the front, the top piece, cause it got like a couple little chips in it from rocks, whatever. So I'm gonna rewrap it plus it was like the first time I ever wrapped a grill, so I've learned a little bit since then when wrapping like really intricate small parts like that. So I'm gonna do like kind of a little tutorial in this video and show like how I wrap vinyl stuff. And I might redo my driver side mirror because there's one spot in the very corner on the back side. I don't know if you can see. Like, see right there? Like, right there. There's like a little blister that bothers me. So I'm, I'm gonna rewrap my mirror. But yeah, I'm gonna start making more videos for you guys. And if you like these vlog style videos, as long as they have like car content to them, <laughs> let me know and I'll make some more. Yeah, okay, back to the house. Subaru. It says it has alkaline. See? Alkaline. I don't know if it does. But that matters. Because it's supposed to help your skin. And Lord knows I need all the damn help I can get. I probably need more than just water. I'm in my garage. As you guys can see, it's super bright back there. The sun is about to like be on the front side of my house. And it's gonna be so hot in here. It's like 100 degrees outside. So I need to get this done quickly. But I'm already sweating. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to do. So as you guys can see, my grill is wrapped. I wrapped it metallic black to kind of like look like the Forester STITS. And I did the mirrors also. So the mirrors are wrapped and then I wrapped the belt line. That was chrome, that's matte black now, or satin black. And that's metallic black. And then also like I did the grill and then the headlight retrofit. I also did myself. It took like oh, an entire weekend. It was a pain. But what I'm about to do, I don't know if you guys can see the wrap. See how there's a chip right here? There's a chip in it. And right here, I um, when I did the wrap, I it looks like crap. So it's peeling up right here because I trimmed it too short and I stretched it too much. So it started to like come back. So the way the vinyl works for you guys that don't know, when you apply heat to this vinyl, it stretches, but it wants to go back to its natural state. So when I did this wrap, I stretched it too much, and then once I put it on the car, 
as it sits in the sun, it tries to go back to its natural state. And right here, it's actually starting to peel up because I overstretched it apparently right there, I think. I'm really bad at explaining things, but maybe when I do it, you'll actually see what I'm doing and you'll, you'll get it. But I think for like, this is my first wrap job. I feel it came out fairly good. I did all three parts of the grill and then the mirrors were super difficult. But yeah, so I'm gonna redo this top piece because it is, it looks like crap. And I might redo this mirror too. The mirrors are really, really hard to do because the way they like have the curves to them. But I have one little spot right there where it started to bubble. I feel like for my first wrap job, I didn't do that bad. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> So before you guys can even hit me with the you should be in the kitchen making a sandwich joke, look. I made a wrap. So I am in the kitchen. And I made even better than a sandwich. I made a wrap. And I'm gonna do this in the kitchen. Because it's a lot nicer in here than the garage. Hmm. Okay, so I finished eating my, my wrap. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap. So I just had a wrap. Hmm. Are they all set up right here? So I'm using a towel so I don't scratch up my countertops and so I don't scratch up the grill. So yeah, great use of a towel. Anyway, I'm going to peel off the old wrap and get everything prepped and cleaned and ready before I rewrap it. So I'm gonna do that right now, okay. vinyl off. It came off fairly easy. It was kind of tough in a few spots, but luckily my nails helped me get the little tiny pieces back up. And I have very minimal glue residue left over. I'm just going to be able to wipe it up real quick with some glass cleaner. And then I'm going to get the new vinyl ready, which is in that box right there, right, right there. I'm going to get the new vinyl ready. And then I'm going to wrap the grill. Wait, the grill, the grill. I'm going to wrap it after I clean it. That'd be really bad if I got it near the fire. So I'm just gonna do this. And before you know it, I'll snap my fingers, there'll be vinyl there. Bah, ta-da. I'm so cheesy I can't even help myself. Okay, let's get this thing wrapped because I've already spent like 20 minutes on this, too long. So this should only take like 40 minutes to do this. <sighs> just joking, it's probably gonna take me like an hour. Okay, so here's the piece of vinyl I'm gonna be using. As you can see, it extends quite a bit past the edge and it's clearly a lot wider, but you have to remember it's got a corner right here. So it looks like a waste of vinyl, but you'll see why to use that big of a piece. <laughs> I sound like I can't speak English. So this, I know this is confusing because I'm holding the camera upside down. This is the top of the grill right here. This will be like, the top of the car, and that's the bottom of the car. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm wrapping the vinyl, I haven't done over here yet, over there. I'm wrapping the vinyl all the way around the back side of the grill. So any stretching I have to do to get the edges um, clean, it won't, as the car sits in the sun, it won't like have the fingering effect is what they call it, where the vinyl starts to shrink back to its original state, and then you can see like little pieces of it starting to pull up. So by wrapping it all the way around the back side, that should help prevent that from happening. And I'm doing very minimal stretching and I haven't even used the heat gun yet. So yeah, I only have a little bit done. But okay, back to it. Okay, all done. So there are some imperfections in it and that's because of the chrome itself was a little bit pitted from rocks that had got through the vinyl before. But all in all, I mean, it's good enough. I'm happy with it. So, yeah. And the backside here, you won't see that. It's hidden by the other piece 
of grill, so it doesn't really matter. The back side of it here, like I wrapped really far around the top, so that way I wouldn't really have to worry about it shrinking from the heat of the sun and pulling back over. Okay, sorry, my car is dirty. So this is old, this is old. I did this probably about two years ago. And like, aside from the dirt, there's water spots and stuff on it. You guys can see it came out pretty much flawless. And here is the top piece that I just did. It looks all right. I, I have to say the roll of vinyl I bought was kind of old and I had to throw away half of it, but it's not bad. I'm, I'm satisfied. Well, I'm done. I think it came out all right. The vinyl was a little older than I would have liked. So like, I think it was either the end of the roll or like it was just an old roll, I don't know. So it wasn't as easy to work with, but I'm pretty happy it came out pretty decent. So good enough for now, we'll see if it gets destroyed from more rocks and bugs and stuff, I'll have to redo it again. That's the great thing about vinyl though, like paint, it chips, then you gotta repaint it. Why not just peel it off and do it again? If you guys like these type of videos, um, let me know, I'll do more of them. I'm going to do one on wrapping my intercooler with that gold DEI heat wrap stuff, and then I gotta change my spark plugs and my differential oils, so I'll do videos for that too. And then I might start thinking about a project car. I don't know, so I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.